Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you how well the Intel Core i7 4770K Haswell CPU does when it's overclocked to 4.2 GHz. Right off the bat I have to say, overclocking in itself is made easier than ever before with the new Intel Haswell processors. We all know we had to turn off certain energy saving features and so on in order for the overclock to run stable. But still, it's recommended to disable the Turbo Boost technology, but you don't necessarily have to. As for the motherboard, I'm using the Gigabyte GA Z87X UD3H. It's a great motherboard for the price and even overclocking will work very well with it. In CPU-Z, you can see my overclocked i7 4770K at 4.2 GHz. All I did here was increasing the multiplier and the voltage. My chip here needs 1.2 volts for 4.2 GHz. I could have gone higher, but the temperatures unfortunately didn't allow that. Of course, the required voltage and the temperatures differ from chip to chip, keep that in mind. But enough talking now, let's take a look at the benchmarks to see how much performance can be squeezed out of this i7 4770K. So there you have it. As you saw yourself, most of the time you only benefit from the overclock in applications. Synthetic benchmark scores definitely got higher and you also notice that when it comes to rendering and compression of data. In games you barely notice any difference at all. For instance, in many games the results got worse than they were at stock speeds before overclocking. As you've probably already expected, the temperatures will get really high. As always, I tested these with Ada64 and with my Corsair H100i water cooler, I reached temperatures all the way up to the 90s, 93 degrees Celsius to be exact. That's pretty high. Just like the temperatures, the power consumption also increased, 
14 to 15 percent more than at stock speeds. So who should overclock and do you really benefit from it? People that are doing lots of rendering and compression work will definitely benefit of overclocking this i7-4770K. Gamers however will pretty much not benefit from it at all. As you saw, in many cases you lose FPS compared to the stock clock speed. And that's all I guess, I really hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.